Now I'm going to show you how to create a bipolar question. So you're going to have to go to the matrix table here, and you're going to see a drop down whenever you hover over that arrow, which will give you this bipolar choice. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure our scale points are the same as all of our other questions. So our multiple choice question has seven scale points and our uh, matrix table also has seven scale points. You see strongly disagree to strongly agree, one to a seven there. So we'll make our scale points the same up to seven here. And um, we would have our statements here to make it easier for us. So we don't need to create any labels. That just makes a label right above here. But we're just going to write whenever we have this, we may be looking at, for instance, attitudes towards your particular product or service that you're trying to introduce. And so we may have uh, with bipolar adjective scales, what we want to do is we want to have opposites on these. So for one side, you would want to have, say, for instance, unfavorable. And for the opposite side, you would want to have favorable. And that gives us our bipolar because we have on one polar end, we have unfavorable, the negative side. And on the opposite polar, we would have the positive side, which would be the favorable in this case. You could say satisfied, dissatisfied, and you can think of many different uh, reverse or uh, complete opposites that you could put uh, for attitude. And so I have some more examples that I've included for you in the uh, folder. That way you can see some examples of bipolar that I've used in the past. And so you can easily um, adapt those to however you need to use them for your survey. I think that covers what we want to do for bipolar, but if you have any other questions about how to create this bipolar scale in Qualtrics, feel free to email me at kt.manus at ttu.edu. Thanks. Bye-bye.